Okay, so now we're going to look at, I would call them adolescent issues, adolescent social issues. So we know that adolescents really value conformity and they don't want to stick out. They want to fit in. So one of the things that potentially could be an issue is use of drugs. Um, I would say that probably the most common one is marijuana. It's much easier to get. It's considered legal in the state of Michigan. So when you ask adolescents, they definitely, off, you know, especially to their friends, are very commonly honest about that. So if you look at the stats, eighth graders, seniors, let you know, it's not that uncommon. Um, I would also say that potentially drugs that are not illegal but not prescribed for them is another thing. You know, and if you think about it being a teen is often about pushing the boundaries. Um, obviously there's psychotropic um, reactions to drugs. So there are the physical things that go along. They're also seen as escape things. And it, for them, it often is kind of an adrenaline rush, thrill of doing something illegal, peer pressure. So there's a lot of different reasons why you might see this happening. Um, I would, this is funny because I, for the longest time, smoking was definitely on the decline. But now that we have so many different vaping pens and things like that, um, you're seeing a lot of that on the uptick. Um, it used to be very, I guess, societally pushed. Um, the scary thing is that nicotine has a very fast and very strong biological and psychological dependency. It only takes about 10 cigarettes to create a physical dependency habit. Um, I personally have never smoked, so I don't know about the emotional state, but they do find that if parents smoke, teens are more likely to try it themselves. Um, so there's a lot of potential health concerns we know with smoking and lung cancer and things like that. Um, STDs. I know everyone wants to talk about this, right? Um, STDs are going to be part of the teen experience because again, with trying out different roles, sexual activity becomes something that begins. Um, we talk about the grandfather of them all to begin with the one that, you know, you can actually die from AIDS. It's, you know, a sexually transmitted disease. There's no cure. We do have treatments. Um, it's basically transmitted by bodily flu fluid exchange or, um, and it's caused by the virus, HIV virus. So that's definitely a big one. But in the grand scheme of things, it's certainly not the most common one. Um, the most common ones are going to be the ones that are like chlamydia or gonorrhea, that sort of thing. And the scary thing about, whoops, about STDs is often teenagers are not mature enough psychologically to want to practice safe sex. And you also have to remember, we just talked about the adolescent um, invincibility feeling. It, they don't think it's going to happen to them. Um, it's embarrassing to buy condoms. It's embarrassing to talk about sex. It's much easier just to have sex. Um, they don't want to talk about because it's their business, not anyone else's. And sometimes, let's be honest, they just forget, right? Um, when we look at the statistics, I personally think it's scary. Three million teens in one year will get an STD. About one in eight between the ages of 13 and 19, one in four. Um, scary stuff. Um, if you are a teen or honestly, if you are a responsible adult, make sure that you are having safe sex should you have sex. Um, when we look at the different kinds, some of them are bacterial and some of them are viral. So the viral ones would that are often very common are genital herpes, which can start as a cold sore with oral sex or um, genital warts, which is why we have that human papilloma virus a vaccine, because that is such a common one. Um, the ones that, as I said, are often common and are bacterial are chlamydia and gonorrhea. So as you can see, the stats are scary. 
um, when you look at the numbers. So just be careful out there. Um, and I know no one wants to hear their mom, and I'm not trying to be your mom, but the only way to avoid sex, I'm sorry, avoid STDs is to not have sex. So again, not trying to be your mom, but abstinence is the only 100%. But if not, safe for sex, make sure that you know and talk to your partner. You avoid high-risk behaviors and you use condoms. There, mom lecture done. Thanks, guys.